Rob, tell me, am I kind of a rapper now that I've been featured in a popular rap song? Tommy, you are in the game, okay? You've been featured on a song with Pusha T and Jay-Z, the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. Um, you're one of us now, like or not, you're one of us, you're in the game. So when I hear them take this 10 second blurb of me saying he's a drug dealer and try to make it seem as though I'm attacking him because he was a drug dealer in the past, eh, not the whole story, Rob. Yeah, well, you know, listen, I, I don't think, you know, I haven't spoken to Jay myself. I have had a lot of conversations with Pusha T. Um, I don't think Jay lost any sleep over the final thought, you know what I mean? Um, I, I think it was just a spark for him to really talk about artistically how far he has come. You know, um, you know, he talks about in the 80s and Google me, baby, and, and you'll look up all this stuff. But, you know, then he says the paper trail is gorgeous. And now he opened up storefronts and 4040s and a bunch of studios. So I just think it's a way for him to express himself. I, yeah, I, don't I agree. I don't you know think what? there's a beef here. I would like to say I don't have a beef with Jay-Z. I don't have a beef with Pusha T either. So you said you've talked to Pusha T. Have you talked yeah. to him specifically about this song? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Did he mention me? Pusha T did, he mentioned your clip. He, he mentioned your clip being the inspiration for this song. You know, the song is called Drug Dealers Anonymous. Um, both of these guys have street pass that they talk about in their music all the time. And, um, but they've done so much with their lives. So it's like, are we constantly going to be defined as who we were or can we be defined as who we are? So, you know, it's a little bit of a thumb, you know, they're thumbing their nose at you a little bit, but, um, you know, it's not a beef. I think it was inspiration. I, Which I is, think by the way, I'm fine with. I don't, I really don't mind. So people are saying, hey, you wouldn't license your final thoughts to Beyonce to use on her tour, but you're okay with them using your line in the song. First of all, it never gave permission for either of those. We, we rejected Beyonce's offer. But for me, it was very different. The fact that I rejected Beyonce using me to race bait her audience is very different to me than using my soundbite in, in a rap song. Two completely different things. If they would have come to me and asked me for permission, I and the Blaze probably would have said yes. We weren't asked. But um, moving on, I, I want to know, what do I need to do to get in the good graces of the rap community? Because I feel like half of them probably hate my guts. This is what you need to do, Tommy. I'm going to set it up for you. You need to do a remix, okay? So you need to get the, the, the little part of the beat of Drug Dealers Anonymous, okay? And you need to loop it up so you can extend that little part of the beat and make it longer and, and give yourself a runway. And you need to drop your 16. You need to drop your response. We'll put the lyrics up on Genius. You'll come and annotate it. And that's how we settle things in hip hop. We settle it in the studio, back and forth. And it's good for the culture. What would it take for me to be in a room with Pusha T and Jay-Z? Ah, man, you got to ask Pusha T and Jay-Z. You're on the track with them, so you got one foot in the door. And but, I've, you know. I said this on, on TMZ earlier in the day as well. Um, the fact that they used me in the song, what are the chances that they would ever include me in your thoughts in, in a music video? And would there be a demand for that? Because I'm very interested. I think this could be a very interesting collaboration, really. Yeah, listen, I, I, I think, again, you got one foot in the door. You're on the track. Let's put you in the music video. Like, you know, it's not up to me. If I was directing it, I'll put you in the music video. People would click that.